Hello, this is Athena Jezik. I have just finished showing you how to do the feet and I think I will also include the hands on this too. It's very similar to what it is, but uh, you know our hands do a lot of work and it's uh, nice to be able to know what to do with the hands. So I'll show you a little bit of that too. It's a good idea to use a little bit of um, oil or something. Uh, lotion. The trouble with lotion is that it tends to absorb into the skin and so it gets a little bit more tacky. The viscosity doesn't last for very long and then it's kind of that you're just rubbing. And what I like to do when I'm working my own hands is just get it on both of the hands and just rub it around. Now I know that it's good to work the hands. My hands are at a point because they work so hard that there's oftentimes mornings that my hands are very stiff in the morning. So this is a good thing to do if you keyboard or whatever you do. And of course the hand is rather similar to the feet. The toes and fingers are a little bit different length and you don't really have an arch but you do have uh, you know a place like the arch. The palm is similar to the bottom of the foot. And you can go between the fingers and rub in circles. So you can tell, you know, my hands have been work so much that it's kind of in the shape of holding sacrums. You'll notice that if you have certain jobs, your fingers tend to change shape a little bit. So then, you know, you can go over to the thumbs and just kind of hold on to them and the thumb, I should say, and just rotate. You'll feel the, the bone rotate. You can hold it, not with a real tight grip, in that you have stuff on both hands. It's going to be sliding, but you are going to be manipulating. So then you can also take the each joint of the finger and, you know, work the, the subtle anatomy part of that, getting into that joint, being able to really unwind that joint deeply in, in between the joints. And so you can go through all of that. I'll go kind of quickly through that because it's a little more time consuming. But you can uh, do that technique as well, which takes you a little bit deeper into the uh, system. And especially if you have tight joints or joints that click or joints that get stuck, that's the kind of thing that you'll want to do. And then the next thing you can do is go around the wrist, wrist bones and work the wrist in the range of motion, which is kind of hard to do on yourself in a way because uh, you, just, you just have to kind of let the wrist move, but you want to guide it a little bit, but let that wrist move on its own. And then you can also go up the arm because that gets very tight, especially with keyboard work. And I'm just putting a little bit more of the, of the lotion or the oil, the hardened oil on. And then just slide up through those, those muscles. And sometimes you're going to feel maybe a, a tender spot. Now if you find a, a tender spot or a spot that feels a little hard, then you can, you can, you know, place your finger there and you can work the, the subtle technique there to let that tissue unwind because that's what it is. It's been worked and worked and worked at ty typing or whatever it is you're doing. And so you want to make sure that that's going to be undone. And so once that that is unwound, then you can ride it up and you'll find that you're the little tension there or if there's a little pain it's probably going to be greatly reduced or even diminished completely and just wait on it a little bit until it does and then push and strip the muscle then there's the cross fiber friction this is all stuff again and all of these you know if you take a look at the other videos that are posted you can uh, get ideas to modify for yourself and do exactly what it is you need and just check all that out and and then when you flip over to the other side of the arm the other side of the arm you don't want to really work very much there's a fleshier part over to the side but you have a lot of veins and nerves running closer to the surface there so just kind of work the edges along the bone there's a couple of bones there so just kind of find the bone and follow along there because that's where the attachments would be and if you want you can very lightly kind of manipulate through here but this is an area you want to be careful of and even on this part of the wrist so don't press too hard on any of those parts just as a precaution 
So then, you, you know, of course you want to go to the other arm and just, you know, do the same things there. Just make that wrist. It's really just finding things and not being afraid to work in, being sensible. Don't put too much pressure on it because, you know, the more subtle you go, the more results you get, but you pushing into the muscle a little bit deeper when it's very tight is not a bad idea, but don't take it to pain and then strip that muscle, do cross fiber friction. And then of course, if you find a tender spot, then you unwind the, the subtle, subtly you unwind the, the fascial structure there. And then that's about it, you know, and you feel that, you know, just that alone is gonna do plenty for you. So I hope these techniques helped you. I hope that you have some idea what you can do to take care of yourself. And if you're interested in finding out more about the subtle techniques, you can check out my course. So thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. This course is going to take you beyond the work of massage therapy. It will take you into the world of the subtle anatomy. Misalignment of the subtle structures is often the root cause of chronic pain, injuries, and chronically high levels of stress hormones. In this course, you will learn a protocol for assessing and aligning the subtle structures.